Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'll be discussing the 128Ti's arrivals. Now this will be a two part series and in this first video I'll be discussing the GTI and the Toyota GR Yaris. The second part of this video will be the Ford Focus ST and the Hyundai i30N. I'll be basing it around all four of these cars as they were the ones that I were considering purchasing before I bought the 128Ti. So the price of this starts from £34,960 as, as a base model car. Um, it is a 2 litre 4 cylinder petrol turbocharged petrol engine. It pushes out 245 um, horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque. It's 0 to 62 is 6.4 seconds um, and it is a front wheel driven car like mine which comes with a 7 speed auto which has launch control and a 6 speed manual. So you've got best of both worlds. Let's go a bit around the car. The Golf GTI is an aggressive looking car. It has this honeycomb effect pattern on the front of the bumper. If you have a look on the top, it's got its classic red detailing, little lines, which follow through into the matrix light system. It almost looks like a mono brow design, and it reminds me of that famous NBA basketball player, Anthony Davis. I'll just put an image up here so you guys can compare that. The aggressive stance continues from down to the LED tail lights, inner boy racery boot spoiler, and the twin tail pipes for the exhaust outlet. The interior also has the honeycomb pattern. I guess you could say it's a bit like the Hofmeister kink that you find in the 128Ti throughout the whole car which I'm sure represents something within the, uh, the Volkswagen group. Also in the interior is the red accents, where you would find the door card illumination, the dashboard illumination, all illuminates in red. Also with the instrument cluster, it's obviously a digital one. You've got a nice big infotainment system in the middle, um, which you can you know navigate to, to do stuff on. Unfortunately, they've removed actual buttons in uh, the Golf. Um, so you have to use these touch sensitive buttons, which don't really give you a physical feedback as such. Uh, you have to be looking at the screen to see if you've you know uh, selected the right option that you wanted to. Um, if we talk a bit about the seats. Uh, the seats are this these pretty cool uh, one-piece things where the headrest is uh, built into the actual the, the seat itself which looks pretty cool. Um, it almost reminds me of uh, the 135i's seat. Uh, I think they maybe had inspiration from there. D you don't know because all these automotive um, companies copy each other's ideas or make it better. So that was a basic overview of the exterior and interior. Now I'll be moving on to the suspension. GTI sits lower than the standard Golf. So what Volkswagen have done is they've stiffened the suspension on the front by 5% and stiffened the suspension on the rears by 15% to improve overall handling. The GTI has a electronic slip differential as standard. Also this car has a new front aluminium subframe over the previous generation to allow stability in corners. As standard, these cars come with a 50 litre capacity tank. So you can pretty much calculate how much petrol you would get in a 50 litre tank using your local uh, petrol prices. So the Golf GTI is available in eight different colors. Now I'll go through which ones are the solid ones, which ones are the metallic ones, and which ones are the pearlescent ones. And I'll also give you a rough guide of how much they will cost. Additionally, if you add them to while well, specking up your car. First off, we've got uh, pure white, which is a solid color, which is actually the free color that you can get. Then we've got a moonstone gray, which is another solid color, which looks pretty cool, which is roughly about 375 pounds additional. We've got a Atlantic blue, which is metallic, which is 625. Dolphin gray, again, 625 pounds. King red, which is the one on the video behind me, uh, which is 755 pounds. 
Reflex Silver, £625. Now, if we move on to the Pearls, we've got Deep Black, which is £625. And last but not least, we've got Oryx White Mother, which is another Pearl, and that is a whopping £1,040. <laughs> Okay, so this next car is a car that sits very high on my want list. This car has a 1.6 litre engine. It's a three cylinder engine, uh, turbocharged uh, with petrol. Only comes as a manual, uh, which produces 257 horsepower, 360 newton meters of torque, which is pretty nuts. It's got a four wheel drive system, uh, which helps it, you know, accelerate. It's not to 62 is five, 0.5 seconds. It's got three different driving modes in it, which is normal, sport, and track. When the car is in normal, the power is 60% at the front wheels and 40% at the rear. The car's in sports mode, it's 30% on the front and 70% on the rear. So you can probably get some drifting out of it, which is pretty cool. And then on the track mode, uh, the power is distributed 50-50. It weighs roughly 1,645 kilograms. Now, price-wise, in the UK, there are three different packs that you can get. The cheapest pack will cost you £29,995, so just under 30 grand, which is the standard GR Yaris. Uh, you can get the convenience pack Yaris, which will set you back 32175 which is just under 33. Well, you would say it's more close to 32 than 33. And then you get the circus pack, which will set you back £33,495. Suspension-wise, on the front you will find the McPherson strut, and on the rears you would find a double wishbone. The circuit pack is the only pack that gets the torsion slip differential on the rear and the front. The fuel tank capacity on this car is 50 litres. So, colour-wise on this vehicle, you can spec it with pure white, which is a solid colour, which will cost you nothing. A precious black, which is a metallic color, which should set you back roughly about 585 pounds. We've got scarlet flare, which is a red color, which is a pearl as well, which should set you back 880 pounds. We've got platinum white, again, pearl color, which is a uh, color that Toyota uses on a lot of their cars. And that is 880 pounds as well.